Just after noon Wednesday, a coalition of groups took a knee in protest of the death of George Floyd at the hand of police more than a week ago. They kneeled through nine bells, one bell for each minute that Floyd was held on the ground by police. They included Latoya Emanuel, who has lived in Escondido for most of her life. I actually first saw it on Facebook, and I've cried since. Like, I'm still waking up out of my sleep crying about it. And it just, it shouldn't have happened. This was her first opportunity to attend one of the protests in person. We need to change the mindset. We need to change the culture of interaction with one another. This was the second protest held in Escondido. Monday, a group of 300 gathered outside the police station for what police chief Ed Varso says was a good conversation revolving around policing and race. Wednesday, the chief kneeled with the rest of the crowd. We have a similar policy, but not in the... We would never put our leg on somebody's neck and hold them down. That is outside of our policy. So as I've spoken to several people, that fact alone I know would never happen in Escondido. We wouldn't conduct ourselves in that same way. Among the officials addressing the crowd was Escondido City Councilwoman Olga Diaz, who listed a series of reforms that she hoped would come out of events like these. It requires citizen input on the hiring of police chiefs and captains. This is not an inside job. This is a community response job, and the community should have some say in that interview process. Organizers then asked the crowd to write down what they would like to see and place it on post-it notes, which they put on the doors of the city hall. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.